So since we're getting paid to do commissions, I figure it'd be best to give my thoughts on my process during this because in the grand scheme of things, uh, these commissions are not necessarily my initial idea as much as it is what people pay me to do. So I decided to document my process and also have a play along the time lapse that I did during my process of it. So the first thing I want to talk about is the pose initially because um, it was just kind of sitting in my template folder for a long while and I never really got the opportunity to use it. So I was like, you know what, uh, I could actually use it for this. I kept in the umbrella because I thought it would look cute, but uh, overall, like a lot of things, including the, uh, the poses uh, straight from the template have been rearranged and whatnot, including the expressions. Um, I added in an adjustment of the umbrella because I thought it'd give the whole artwork a little more energy outside of what was going on. And as for the colors, they're based off of like the color schemes that usually I, uh, when I've drawn these two before and they're usually drawn with like these particular colors and I actually think they'll look quite nice on them. So I thought their color schemes would best suit their attire here. Pretty much, uh, that's just kind of the majority of what the artwork was going for. Just kind of them very looking much cute and walking about. And it, uh, the coloring was a little bit of, a little bit tricky as well as the hairstyles, but overall I more or less got it. Um, the use of, like, different coloring, like contrasts, like, with, uh, Rashi's, uh, more reddish hair and the interior being more blue, same with Smug, her more like silver or white hair being uh, met with more of a darker blue contrast. Yeah, that was more of an idea I carried over from uh, the artworks I was also using for reference. I thought it looked like a really, I thought it looked really nice aesthetically, so I thought I'd really add it. Um, pretty much, yeah, that's, that's pretty much it for that. Uh, it was a little tricky trying to make it look like kind of curved and especially from moving from the colored pencil line work that I did for it and straight to more of like a pen line work I did for it. It was a little more trickier trying to get that down, especially considering that like in the grand scheme of things, I never thought the colored pencil lining looked really good on it. So it was, I don't know, it was just kind of a little tricky to readjust it, but I got there. Um, as for the dress that I had Smug accompanied with, pretty much, uh, it was an initial idea where it's just like, I was going to just have her in this, like, this bright, uh, I think Scion-esque blue dress, and it, but it ultimately felt like, you know, it didn't look like, I felt like I could do more with it, so what I did was I took a gradient and I cut it up accordingly to the dress, and then I just, that, there it is, it's just a blue sky gradient, and I thought it looked really beautiful. But on top of that, I also wanted to add a little more detail, so what I did was, is I went on Clip Studio, and I looked up a cherry blossom brush, and it actually, it, uh, it looks really well, uh, it looks really well detailed, and I, I actually loved how it came off. Um, it took a little bit to get adjusting to the coloring, but it, I made it work. And it really, like, I, I really liked how it came off. I eventually cropped it and cut it accordingly, but overall, it looks really well done. And pretty much, yeah, the rest is just me adjusting everything else to make sure that there's no, like, leak, there's no, like, uh, transparency leaking out of it, and there's no, like, missed patches or anything, just making sure everything looked nice and clean. And then, uh, pretty much, I just, to top it all off, I added in a more monochrome version of the cherry blossoms, just as a, as a way to make it look, just as a way to kind of, like, I'd say balance everything as well as, uh, give a little more something going on in the background that wasn't entirely, like, complex or even simple, just a little bit of a brush. So yeah, pretty much that's it. And um, I did show it to them uh, before I made this video and they said that they really liked it. So yeah, uh, thank you all so much for listening to me and I hope you all enjoyed this. Imagine.